Hello. It's good to see you. Today, we are here with a little cat toy. I was at um, Ollie's earlier today, and I was just walking around in there, and I spotted this thing. It's the Catch Me Kitty Deluxe. Now, I don't know what the regular Catch Me Kitty would be, but this one apparently is the deluxe model. I don't know. It just looked really cool to me. It looks like you get this mat here, this round mat, and then you're going to take these little interactive motorized mice and, I guess, put it under here somehow. Well, it's either going to be under there or on top. It looks like it's on top. Cause see here you can see the little cat paw swatting at it. So I'm assuming maybe at first when I first glanced at it I thought maybe this was like a round uh, bag of some sort and then you would put it inside there. But it looks like you have these little these little interactive motorized mice. They move unpredictably with LED lights and they have squeaking sounds to attract your kitty. I get this orange kitty here. Now, fortunately, I have three cats. Now, two of them are just basically like loaves of bread. They just kind of lay there. They don't really, seriously, they don't really play much anymore. They're old and lazy, and they just kind of lay there. Most of their entertainment comes from watching Olive, who is our not-so-small-anymore youngest cat. She is, um, oh my gosh, she's um, probably close to seven months old now. But she loves to play. So I'm thinking she will be the one that we can test this on to see if it's really enjoyable for cats, or at least for her anyway. And they give you some little bubbles down here that tell you some things, and they show you little pictures. That cat kind of looks like Olive with the crazy eyes. That cat, that cat has crazy eyes. Olive kind of gets crazy eyes when she gets, and she just has the zoomies every now and then, and she just runs around the house like crazy. <laughs> okay, what does this one say? That kind of looks inappropriate. It's just a mouse. It's nothing else. Just place the mice, okay, just place the mice in the pouch. So this is a pouch, but here they show it like it's not in the pouch. Motorized mice scurry, scurry around, stimulating cats' hunting instincts. Well, a twist tile on the floor activates Olive's hunting instincts. It doesn't take much for her. She's, she's always ready to play. It doesn't matter what's going on. She is ready to do it. We have optional LED light and sounds. Attract your kitty for hours of exercise and fun. And it has an auto shut off. Interactive mouse automatically shuts off after 15 minutes. Oh, it says it's versatile, so the mice work great outside of the pouch, so they don't have to be in there. Now, I wonder, I'm assuming they take batteries, um, although it looks like there are little cords here. I don't, I don't know. Compact storage. Folds down small for easy storage anywhere. I bet you couldn't fit it in a thimble. It literally says you can store it anywhere. I don't know if that's true. The toy cats can't resist. Well, I don't know. I haven't opened it yet. Now, when you buy things at Ollie's, they, everything has a little orange price sticker on it, like this one right here. And let's uh, see, when they scan it, this is what they scan. They don't actually scan the barcode um, on the box. They're going to scan this little thing here. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see, but it does have a barcode. Um... Originally, it was $24.99. Now, I got this at Ollie's for $9.99. Plus, I had a coupon for 15% off my entire purchase. So, I got 15% off of that. So, that's pretty good. Let's flip it over. Well, it's not very heavy. I will say that. Oh, that really looks like Olive. Look at that little face. <laughs> so, I guess you have these little mice and they just roll and zoom all over. At fun exercise, the mice will unpredictably scurry around inside the pouch or on its own outside the pouch. I think she's going to like that. There's a durable pouch. Look, you can poke it with a fork. I don't know what would lead to you poking this thing with a fork, but it looks like it'll be fine. 
made of tear-resistant ripstop polyester fabric for superior durability and optional LED lights and sounds like we saw on the front and it has a 360 degree design perfect for playing and pouncing at any angle mice move like real prey well, isn't that cool I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open and we'll take a look at it why well, that thing was taped together for good I just noticed on the side here it says fun exercise for all cat for cats of all ages and sizes they don't know Evie and Pumpkin very well. They they just kind of lay around. They don't. They just lay there staring and and, and judging everybody. <laughs> they just look mad. But they do enjoy watching Olive scamper around. But occasionally she will dive bomb them <laughs> and try to get them to play. And they're just like, no, go away. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, let's see here. Oh, it comes with instructions. Well, thank goodness. Oh, they show you how to unfold the pouch. It looks like it's one of those things, you know, like the collapsible laundry hampers that have the wire uh, frame that you can bend and fold it down. Carefully remove the elastic strap holding the folded pouch. Well, all right. Ooh, this thing's big. Look. Where are my mice? Okay, that's all that's in the box. So I guess it's all just contained in here. Yep, there are my mice. Look. So here's, it does fold up small. Look at that. Let's look at this. Here's the little mouse. Okay, so this is not a cord. It has a sound button, a light button, and a power button. Well, that's convenient. Okay, well, I think we're getting ahead of ourselves, though. It looks like before you do anything else, if you want to prevent damage and to prolong the use of your cat, it says cat me kitty. <laughs> I think they left some letters out. Catch me kitty? Here, it's called a cat me kitty. <laughs> Read these instructions completely before use, because if you unfold this wrong, you could get knocked out, and then you could hit your head on the way down and die. And then who's going to who's going to set this up for your cat? They're going to live in somewhere with somebody who doesn't want to do this for them. So you have to carefully unfold this thing. Okay, and it opens up like this. Looks like an oval. All right, and you have to put the batteries in. It looks like for the mice, you need a small Phillips screwdriver, which I went and got. My little Phillips head screwdriver, small one. Now, using your screwdriver, you want to remove the battery cover. You're going to screw, wait a minute, remove the battery cover screw turning counterclockwise. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Press the latch and pull to open the battery cover so you're going to open his butt. You're going to come back here to his butt. He kind of looks like a bumblebee a little bit. This is his butt. You're going to put these in his butt. Press the latch and pull it to open the battery cover. And you're going to need two AAA batteries per mouse, not included. You're going to put two in there. And I have some little active energy. Let's see. Super alkaline AAA batteries from Aldi. That's where I get all my batteries. They have a great deal on batteries and they work great. Okay, and then you, they don't show you, well, no, it says here, replace the battery cover, making sure to align it with the screw hole. And then replace the battery cover screw, turning clockwise, righty tighty, with the small Phillips screwdriver. And my screwdriver matches the mouse. Look at that. This is a Stanley screwdriver. I have a whole set of these. See, this is just one of them. Look. Everybody needs one of these. I got this. I think I got this one year for, for Christmas. I think from my dad. It's a little set of mini screwdrivers. And you see they're in here like this. You have some. This one. And let's see. They're not in here in the right order. You have three Phillips heads. Different sizes. Here's the biggest one here. 
and the smallest. No, that's a flat head. That is too. Oh, well, anyway. And then you have flathead screwdrivers as well. And I use these things all the time. It is the best, the best thing ever. I keep these in a drawer in the kitchen because it, it seems like we need them frequently and they come in handy. And see, I'm using them again. We're going to open it up and put the batteries in there. And then, it, okay, here's where it tells you how to operate the mouse. Yeah, power, light, and sound are the buttons. Oh, press the power button and the mouse's head will begin to turn. So it's kind of like the exorcist. To turn on the lights, you want to press the light button once to turn on red lights. Press the light button twice to turn on blinking red lights. And then finally, you want to press the light button three times to turn the lights off. So it's kind of like a Christmas tree, you know, how you can make the lights blink or fade in and out. Or, so it's kind of like a Christmas tree, but not, not at all like a Christmas tree because it's not. It's a mouse, a, a fake mouse. For the chirping sound, you press the sound button once to turn on and you press it again to turn off. So it just, you can either make it chirp or not chirp and that's your only options there. So that seems pretty simple. And we gotta get this out of here. So we gotta get to these mice. These are always loud. I'm just gonna rip this open. Okay, here we are. They're stuck under that elastic. I don't wanna I don't wanna let this thing spring forth just yet. bumblebees. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to make these things chirp because I imagine it's kind of loud. And I don't think chirping would go too well in this video. But we're going to take them out of the plastic and then see what we can do. All right. Here we have them. Here are the buttons they were telling us about. They're not, well, they kind of are labeled. You can't really see it, but there's a little picture on here that shows you what each button is for. But it's very tiny, so I don't know how anybody could see it. This one has a little picture of like a speaker. This, no, this has a picture of something. It's kind of hard to see, but I guess that's to let you know what they're for, but you can never, I mean, you'd really have to look at it. Now look at the weird face. It kind of makes me think you crossed a Winnie the Pooh with a cat little bit. And then this up here, this is attached at the top. And as the head turns, I imagine that makes it, you know, it's going to make it go, uh oh, oh, that's a piece of plastic. Nothing to worry about. They've been inspected, I guess. That's what the sticker is for. I'll leave it on there. So here's that screw we were told about. His tail's getting in the way. Turn it counterclockwise to open it. I love these little screwdrivers. Okay, and then I think that's out far enough. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to really mess with it. His butt did not want to come off. I had to basically take the screwdriver and kind of pop it off. I tried. See, it has this little tab. And you're supposed to be able to just push the tab down. That didn't work. But anyway, I got it open. So when you line it back up, this is the way it goes. Right here. So it doesn't tell you whether you put them in. You have to just look. Ooh, a thing came off. I think it's like a little plastic washer thing. Okay. So we'll have to look right here to see how they line up. So here's the spring. So that means this negative part goes here. And then the positive, I'm guessing, begrudgingly goes. Yeah, there's the spring on the inside there. And then you have to make sure that it lines up. I don't know about that washer. I'm not going to try to put it in there. Okay. I'm going to pop this in there. Okay. 
and it just snaps right in and his tail keeps <laughs> getting in my way. Oh, it has a little little thing back here too and that as it turns I'm guessing it's just gonna make it go random. It's gonna make it go hither and thither righty tidy. Okay. Now what was the power button? Wait, which way was he facing? That's the power button. It's loud. <laughs> And this is the light button. I'm not seeing any light. Hold on. Press the light button once to turn on red lights. I'm not seeing any red lights. Okay, well, I just played with it, and it does. This little thing here spins around pretty fast, actually. But it's kind of noisy. <laughs> okay, then we have, then we have the second mouse. The Winnie the Pooh looking cat mouse here. And you want to take your screwdriver and turn it to the left. Take the screw out. Oops, he just pooped out a screw. Now I'm going to take this, the back part off. Well, that one came off easier. And again, i got my batteries here. That way. That way. And then we're going to, this is, and this is faster. I'm going to pop this on. And then we have our little screw. I'm going to put it back in. <coughs> Righty tidy. Okay. Well, that was easy. And then we have the same setup here. I'm going to test him and make sure he works. Oh, he sure does, but when he spins around, it's kind of noisy. Okay, we got our mice ready to go. Now, let's see. I am not yet ready to deploy this. It's pretty blue. And the orangish yellow color matches the mice. Okay, now we're going to have fun with it. <laughs> we're going to go downstairs and see if Olive is interested in trying this thing out. <laughs> Alright, here we have it. We've placed it on the floor. No cats are showing any interest in it. Phoebe has her back to me. Evie. Oh, there's Olive. <laughs> She's resting on my gym bag. Hey, girl. Kitty. She didn't even bother to get up. And then over here, there's Pumpkin. What do you think? She's got a little feet crossed. She does not care. <laughs> I opened it up and Olive came to check it out. She's sniffing it. Ooh, look how big she's gotten. She's gotten so big. Oh my goodness. What's she going to do? <laughs> she's like, what are these things? Can I eat them? She's try <laughs> trying to play with them. <laughs> I told you she would play with anything. She doesn't care. <laughs> okay, so we're supposed to put them in this thing. Oh, here's, okay, here's an opening. So, I guess you turn them on and then stick them in there. Okay, I turned it on. Look at her. I think she's scared of it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at Evie. what to do.
think. She's more interested in something else. Oh. <laughs> okay, that totally freaked her out, so I just took one out. Oh, she likes the tail. <laughs> you want to just play with it like that? <laughs> now let's see what she does if I turn it on. Oh, pumpkin's coming to check it out. <laughs> Phoebe, too. I think she likes it better when it's turned off. <laughs> you gonna meow at it? She's not sure what to think of that. I think she likes them when they're just turned off. Evie, do you like it? I think it's stupid. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Don't chew its tail off. Kitty. Okay, well, all right, maybe, maybe they don't love it when it runs, but Olive likes it when it doesn't. Hey, kitty. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, catch me kitty, at least for my cats. Maybe I'll, I'll let them keep trying it, but at least at this point, it does not seem like a huge hit right off the bat, except she likes the tail. <laughs> she does. Evie, you want the tail? Not really. Okay. Alright. Well, we'll see how it goes, but for now, I think she'd be happier with a twist tie. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And we will see you again soon. Isn't that right, kitty? Kitty! Isn't that right, Pumpkin? She's come back timidly to check it out one more time. She's not sure about it. Mm. Yeah, Olive's just going to hang out with it. What do you think? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Whoops. She likes the circle. I will see you again soon. <laughs> Bye-bye.